Well, hello there, person. Person. What's up? Let's check out what's new with Ray Biner. Oh my gosh, there's so much new fun stuff to be checked out. Um, did I set the chest up right here? Let's see. Oh, it's a grenade. Nope. Um, let's uh, let's get the right item there. I want to show you the objectifier. This turns you into a common object. This is a fun. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wait till you see this. Got my uh, this all set up here in the practice arena. So <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, I love it. And all of your abilities still work. So like, I've got the sword now. Right? It's not doing any of my sword animations. But I can charge up the sword. I can do all that fun stuff. So that that oh my gosh. That's a suggestion from um from Twitter. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, person. Um alright, let's check out some of the other new fun items. There is um oh let's go to the uh let's go to the main world so we can see this in, in effect. So now there's four temples there's four temples all around the battlegrounds which show you or which give you um they grant elemental effects so there's fire effects ice acid and lightning and all those apply to all of your weapons so what i would need to do is get the skybot ability and build a bridge over to here um i'm just gonna level up cheat the level up here and we'll get the sky bot and oh we need some mana too some matter this should be enough all right so let's build a bridge over here oh shoot check that recently all right cool so I got to make sure that that pathway has the right Z height oh that's another new ability by the way um, there's the passive skybot ability now so the skybot actually has a little weapon and he can shoot people we'll see that in a second but let's check out these temples first all right here we are this is um I haven't done any of the art for these temples so I've just copied over the bossifiers art this is so this is just uh, basically a placeholder um, but the mechanics are are this. You basically come over to here, you hold the button next to this temple. It'll look like it's on fire, for example, if it's the fire temple. The ice temple will look like it has some icy, wispy stuff going on. But uh, let's see what temple this is. I'm not even sure which one we're using here. Okay, this is the ice temple. Now see how it, um, it made my weapon start having this uh, icy effect. So, oh, I love that. It's like so cool. It's got this smokiness coming off my sword. And everything I hit with my sword freezes. Um, also, if I get, let's see, we need to level up one more time here. And uh, we can get either the boomerang or the bow. That's another new thing this week. So I've reintroduced the boomerang um, as an option to the bow. So you've always... Uh, you've always had the bow ability where you can shoot, um, you know, arrows, or you've got the boomerang, which is a little bit different because the boomerang, you can pick up, uh, you can get ma matter points with it. So if I throw my boomerang and I hit those pillars over there, or I hit this guy right here, I'm actually gaining matter points from that. Whereas the bow weapon, when it shoots its arrows, it doesn't actually... Um, gain matter points it's just doing damage so it's the the bow does a little more damage and the boomerang picks up matter points so there's a little bit of a choice there and you get that as an option right and when you upgrade your abilities you have that as an option which one you choose determines which alternate uh weapon you have for the rest of the match so um from now on i i can't get the bow ability um but because i have the uh the boomerang Shoot, I kind of like leveled up and smashed the ground too much right there, so we can't get anything there. Um, but I still have this ice ability for another 18 seconds. And the whole time, it'll show me um, that I've got ice um, by, you know, by having this cool weapon effect going on. Um, let's see, let's see some more uh, temples. 
I'll speed up time to get rid of this one here. Oh, see there, the Skybot's using his uh, blaster ability to shoot at something over there. What's what's he shooting at? What the heck were you shooting at, buddy? Oh. There's some issues still, of course. Uh, but let's see what temple this is. Oh, the Acid Temple. All right, Dissolver. Okay, so now my sword has a sort of green glowing effect. I've got acid effects. And it creates these pools of acid under anything I hit. Um, and that, of course, also works for, you know, the boomerang. See how I just hit this guy and he created an acid pool? Or if I throw this, um, here I'm getting, I'm also getting the acid pool effects. Uh, let's see. There's also fire. We haven't seen fire or lightning yet. Let's see those. Oh shoot, we've got a whole bunch of um Oh he's just shooting at the <laughs> at the temple. Alright, so let's speed up time so we can get um just use up this acid element. Alright. So now we'll use this, we'll see what helmet. Okay, we've got the Electrifier! Oh my god, I love this one! Uh, so Electrifier gives you the lightning effects to all your weapons. Got a nice, like, white glow for electricity. And anything I hit causes this sort of electricity and beaming going on. It chains the lightning between entities. And also there's a new effect this week where common objects are hit with lightning as well. So when I hit a common object like these pillars, it's doing a tiny little spark on top of them. Um, and uh, that's applying to fire all the elements. All the elements do that now. They have some kind of effect, even for these common objects. Whereas last week, when I did this... Um, oh, dang, we won. We're going to have to see the fire ability next year. Uh, whereas the last week, all those... When, when you would hit, for example, when you hit a pillar with, um, with lightning, it wouldn't do anything. Any kind of elemental effect. So now... We've got tiny effects going on, visual or um, sometimes mechanical, that are affecting those. So let's go check out the fire temple last. I can't wait to go do some more art for these. Gosh, I'm going to do that tonight. So um, I think the fire temple is this one here in the bottom. Yes, sweet. Okay, so we got fire now. Oh, it's exciting. It's so exciting to have all these temple effects. Ah, oh, these elements. So you see how um, fire basically just creates a fire entity and it spreads a little bit. At first I had it, um, there's a tweet I posted earlier today with fire. The first time I implemented it, the fire just spread infinitely. It just went to all entities and it basically just did so much destruction from one little hit that it was just like, this is ridiculous. It was cool, but it was kind of ridiculous. It's like, that, we can't leave that in, because it's like, everything, all the matter in the entire match just suddenly got used up. <laughs> um, but yeah, fire is awesome. Oh, we're going to get the bow this time, so we can see that the bow... So there we go. I'm trying to run away from this guy a little bit, shoot him with the bow. But yeah, see how the bow is actually doing fire as well? Whoa! Dang, I really need a shield right here. That guy was on me. So there. It's really nice to have these elements in. It's so fun. It's so cool. And you notice that um, these uh, these temples, basically, are kind of difficult to get to, right? That's the whole point. You really want to wait until you're, like, level 6 or so. I wanted I wanted it to be a really a high-level thing for you to be able to go get these temples. And also a smart thing. As a player, like, really rewards you as a player to go build a bridge over to this, um, these temples and ac acquire them. And also, when you go get a temple, it takes 90 seconds, right? That's how long the, the effect lasts for you. And it also takes 90 seconds for this temple to regenerate for anyone else to use it. Um, so you automatically use up uh, the ability and it takes 90 whole seconds before anyone else can get it. So it's kind of, it's really cool. It's like a very rewarding thing. It's almost like um, it's almost like you're when you're playing Dota, for example, and you fight uh, one of the big bosses or whatever. What are they, what's it called in Dota? Uh, I forget the name of that that big old dragon. But uh, it's like that. When you fight that dragon, you get that cool. Um, what does it do? It makes you come back to life or something like that. Really cool item. And then um, 
So these are really cool items as well. You got these fire, these these ice, this acid, and these lightning effects going on that last for a nice long time and really do some cool stuff. Um, all to reward you as a player for getting out there, figuring out how the hell to get over to this thing. So, so there you have it. That's all the new stuff this week. Oh, you know what? There's one other thing. Oh, at least we got the disguiser item. I love that item. Um, one new thing. I've, you've probably seen this all the whole time I've been playing. But basically, um, we'll go to practice mode so you can see it a little bit clearer. Uh, it shows the button. It shows a description. Um, it actually announces the description for the, the new ability. And also announces to you that you can press the button to upgrade your ability. So um, most people did not know this playing playing Wraithbinder when they would get um, a new ability. Um, they wouldn't know how to use it. And also when they would get a new ability, or when they would level up, you get to choose a new ability if you want. And no one would know how to choose. It would just automatically choose for you after 10 seconds. So um, let's level up here a little bit. There we go, level two. See how it says press W to choose an ability? Um, and that of course works for if I uh, turn on a controller I can also play with the controller and it'll show me some cool it'll change all my buttons to be uh, like that so I didn't that time I didn't do, quite do it in time but um, let's level up again then so now it says press select which is or the middle of the, the PlayStation 5 thing to be able to upgrade your ability so now you know as a player at least in the tutorial and also, gosh, in, this, in the matches too, you know that you can press the select button to be able to choose your own ability. That's kind of an important thing you should really know. And then um, it also tells you how to use new abilities. So it takes the, item, the ability's description and puts that button up there that shows you what button to press to. So I mean, how more, how more user-friendly can you get, right? You kind of get to learn as you play, learn as you go, and it's also still not holding your hand. Just in the spirit of Songbringer, lets you learn, lets you do things, but doesn't try to push things on you. Like, I can imagine a tutorial would be pushier if you if it made you do stuff, right? And when it pauses the game to make you do stuff, I hate that. So this is really cool because you can learn how to play at your own pace, right? In this practice mode, you can come in here and get all these abilities and learn how to learn what buttons to press to do them. Learn how they work a little bit by experimenting with them on your own, on your own time, your own pace. So, so yeah, that's all for this. And we saw the Skybot. Let's, come on, let's see it one more time. Let's see the Skybot Blaster. Skybot Blaster. We'll see, he'll go over here and shoot him. Do it. There we go. Now he's shooting at the right stuff. Shooting off his Skybot Blaster. Gotta make a cooler sound effect for it. It's just so far it's kind of like doo doo. But I want it to sound so more like lasery, more blastery. So I'll work on a cooler sound effect for that. And of course the temple art and some other stuff to do before tonight tonight is done with yes so thank you much for watching this video um appreciate your support and we'll see you on the next one